Gemini, welcome back to my channel. I'm here with your July monthly reading. I will be making a comeback with the monthly readings, but if you're wanting more from me, check out my Vimeo because I upload monthly, mid-monthly readings over there, and I'm gonna continue to do so on top of this video and little bonuses here and there. So if you're interested in that, be sure to check out June's are up there and a July one is going to be going up at the end of this week. So um, let's chat, let's chat about what's going on. Also, if you're interested, I'm currently offering some specials. If you want to catch my webinar series or my webinar of the Major Arcana, kind of diving deeper into it, how it correlates with our spiritual journey, it is on sale for $15 right now along with, if you are interested in the full tarot course, it is 50% off using the coupon down below, the coupon code um, at checkout. So let's get into the reading. The song I got on shuffle for you guys was Drowning by Banks. It's basically like, I'm drowning for you. Um, so you could be in your feels this month, especially towards a connection. Like you could feel like you're trying to get above water or you're trying to catch some kind of air here. Uh, let's pull some Oracle cards though. Have faith, have faith, build on solid ground. So interesting. Wow. We got a lot of cards. So it's look forward, think things through, imagine solutions. So try to remain positive. I feel like for Gemini, you know, you guys are so intellectually stimulated that uh, Gemini gets the, like the stereotype of like two-faced, but what's in reality is like you guys are able to see things from all different sides, but sometimes that can be to detriment to you because your mind is so active and you're constantly like, you know, seeing all these different scenarios that sometimes you can see the worst scenario possible, you can see the best scenario, and you know, you don't really get a break from that. So it's like important to focus on the positive outcomes, like really, really being, trying to detach from like the logic or the rationalization or the reasoning that you are naturally used to. Um, because the building on solid ground here, it's interesting that this card came up. It's definitely this feeling of even with the drowning, it's like you don't have a solid footing to stand on. Uh, like if you were in the ocean, you know, there's no footing there. So you're kind of just like bobbing above water, um, your emotions. And sometimes we just have to like feel them. Sometimes we just have to like let ourselves drown in the emotions so that we can become reborn, you know? All right, let's see, let's see. Believe in the impossible, hold your vision, and luck is on your side. Wow, beautiful cards there. The end of a tough cycle approaches. So it's like you're trying to stay above water right now. In terms of your emotions, like you're feeling the feels, but it's saying like, really there's this emphasis on having faith, like, have faith, know that you are your, sometimes you have to go through it to get through it, right? And I feel like that's the message here. You are like, there's a break, a lucky break coming in for you. So let's look bottom of the deck, we have the ace of cups, love it. So again, an outpouring of emotions. Sometimes that's what has to happen too, is we have to release those emotions in order to not like drown in them, right? So I do feel like here there is going to be new beginnings in terms of like love or emotional expression, you know, removing this concept of like logic and rationalization and just letting yourself feel what you got to feel and letting it out. Sometimes we just got to let it out, you know? That's how we process it. That's how we move through it. All right, overall energy for Gemini. Four of Wands, okay. So you guys are definitely in your fields. You could be dealing with some kind of like union connection. Four of Wands is always my little twin flame card, 1111. Let's see. Um, the moon, yeah, there's 
probably uncertainty right now. I feel like a lot of your subconscious fears are coming up, but that's what these types of connections do for us. They trigger that emotion in us. So you could be in this like new connection and you're like, oh my God, I don't understand what I'm feeling. How do I bring logic to this? I feel like I'm out of control. Um, I made a post recently that was like, you know, logic and love can't coexist. Like they are just nothing similar about them. Love is beyond logic, beyond the constraints of our mind. So it's like this transcendent to fall in love, you have to be willing to lose your mind or to experience love, not the like surface level love of like me versus you type of love. It's like the human, ex like the, the, the spiritual experience of love, the transcendent experience of like love energy. You have to be willing to lose your mind. So I feel like this is what you're going through right now. And you're, you're panicking because your mind wants to say, this isn't going to work out in my favor. I see on TikTok now, these, like, instead of using law of attraction, use the law of assumption. You should just assume that things are going to work out for the best. Because we do create our realities. So try assuming that things are going to work out for the best. Or try assuming that these people that we're interested in are interested in us. That type of thing. I like that. Um, okay, so Four of Swords, Ten of Cups, and the World card. So some kind of cycle is coming to a close, getting ready to start anew. I always see this card too as like vulnerability, being open, being vulnerable. Um, with the Four of Swords, I definitely think there was some time taken here to meditate, like to retreat. Sun card. Yeah, you might have gone like on a vacation or, you know, <sighs> reconnected with like what makes me happy, what makes me happy through this, this process, reconnecting with that emotional fulfillment, that 10 of cups, and kind of navigating through these shadow light phases, because we do have the moon and the sun on the table. So it's like through that sort of dark night of the soul that might have been brought on by this other connection. It's like forced you to reconnect with like what it is that makes you happy. So let's see the world card here. We have the death card, the death and ending an inevitable ending. That's what I'm hearing an inevitable ending. I don't think that's a bad thing. I think it's a good thing. This change, this transformation you're going through at the moment, it's like it's been inevitable because you're supposed to open up, you're supposed to um, free yourself emotionally. Ah, look at that, three of cups, the king of cups, and the five of cups. So this is interesting because the three of cups, they're like all partying happy. And then the five of cups is like, those three cups are spilled over. So here's the thing. Three of Cups to me, I know people want to be like third party, but for me, it's emotional expression. It's like a, it's a very expression, like it's releasing emotions. It is the celebration that's happening, but it's like a release of emotions. I do feel like you are having this release of emotions, especially with the King of Cups here. It's like this owning of emotions. Could be a water sign energy here with the death card and the moon card. This is like Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Let's see, why is the three of cups here? Ah, the six of cups. So um, six of cups, obviously reconnecting with the past, nostalgia. Um, it could be nostalgia, it could be reconnecting, like maybe you're reconnecting with past friends. Maybe you're reconnecting with like a past group or like you know, past lover, childhood, and kind of releasing certain emotions. Let's see, five of cups here. What's the five of cups doing here? Ah, uh, the three of swords and the seven of cups. Okay, so let's look at it from the perspective of this is somebody that you're dealing with. There's somebody that you're dealing with here and I feel like there is an end, they're, they're going through an ending, a transformation. They're going through the end of a cycle, but you're mirroring each other in that way. This person is grappling with a lot of 
of their emotions here with the seven of cups and the five of cups it's almost like there is some kind of reflection that's happening for this person like um, I feel like somebody here, somebody in this energy is having to sit in heartbreak, having to sit in heartbreak. And again, like it could be you, it could be them, it could be the both of you. Because I do see this kind of like, six is always like a reciprocal energy, so it's like a dual energy here. Having to sit in heartbreak, so there's this like drowning feeling. But whoever this person is has it a little bit worse than you do. Because at least you're sort of like releasing and doing what you need to do. This person's still a little bit confused by what's going on. We have the High Priestess, the King of Wands, and the Page of Pentacles. Interesting sh shite here, Gemini. You have somebody new coming in. You have somebody new coming in. Something about this high priestess as well is like you are tapping into your higher self. Some of you guys have Pisces in your chart. So you guys have like a Pisces moon, something like that. Um, somebody new is coming in for you and it's not this person. Let's see. The high priestess, the knight of swords. So news coming in clarity communication and it's going to actually be a spiritual clarity like you're gonna have with the high priestess and the knight of swords this is like news that comes in or clarity that comes in spiritually it's like a message from your higher self or like um a psychic intuitive aha moment that's happening for you a big one a really big one and it's gonna kind of rush in let's see the page of pentacles here um, and the Four of Pentacles. We have the Eight of Cups at the end. Um, what is this aha moment that you're having? What is the aha moment that Gemini's having? Ooh, the Ten of Swords. Something that's going to send you through this sort of releasing of past hurts past betrayals it's like this ultimate healing that's happening for you your person your your person they're not releasing they're not releasing this connection they're not releasing something here like in order for them to come forward towards you they would need to sacrifice their comfort zone and there's something about this person that they kind of have hesitation in making you some kind of offer. And I think that part of what you're going to realize is that, but I do think somebody else comes in for you. I do think somebody else comes in for you once you release this, this connection and, and you find this, like the nine of pentacles, this solid, stable footing, you have somebody coming in that, um, I want to say first you're going to see this person through like a message or like energy and you're going to get a communication spiritual communication i'm telling you through like you could be seeing signs and synchronicities right now tap into those signs and synchronicities because they are a message for you um let's pull some of these gypsy cards and then i'll move into the extended i really want to leave you guys with some kind of Okay, what is coming in for Gemini? Ace of Hearts, the Fox in close proximity, Agur's distrust of acquaintances who are seeking to betray you, distant, less danger. Um, the Fox. Yeah. Hmm, hold on. You could get a clarity around somebody who is not 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 100 here um the king of spades the bride ensures for a single person the fulfillment of their highest aims okay so yeah something could be happening for your career that's going to be really good that's going to push you forward ten of spades the rod near predicts family quarrels distant pecuniary losses i think that there's something that's coming to an end here 
but fear not because something new is coming in for you and you're going to feel really stable in this new like you're gonna realize how unstable something was in the past who you believe to be your twin flame this connection that triggered you it was to prepare you for your twin flame and this person is going to come in and you're going to realize this person could come in it might be too late it might be too late this person right now you're the person that you're probably inquiring about they are they're not willing to like open up they're not willing to open up it's hard for them to open up but at the same time, they're kind of not willing to. This person's got, this person's stuck by their own accord. Like they are, they're in a whole slew of mess. But for you, I do see somebody coming in who is going to light that fire. This person, this King of Cups person, they have a really hard time expressing their emotions. They have a really, really hard time expressing their emotions and your power is that you can you have that in you you can express your emotions and um i think that you're going to find somebody who actually matches that for you who actually matches that for you and you could be getting some kind of spiritual message coming in very soon that's going to shift you nine of wands and it could be that it's like your own healing in terms of your own vulnerability your own ability to allow yourself to express emotions healing something healing something from the past with the temperance card that allows you to sort of let your guard down and when you do this you're going to you're going to move past this feeling of defeat whereas you know, if this is a twin flame connection, the more you heal, the more this person's going to heal. So if this is your person coming in, you just have to expect that they're going to come in as a changed person. But if not, this person is still not willing to open up. But reflect on the ways, like, are you willing to open up? So reflect on that. Reflect on that. Have you done the healing that needs to be done? So Gemini, in the extended, I'm going to look more into who is coming towards you. We'll pull some archetype cards. We'll pull some messages. We'll pull some more from the tarot um, and sexual tarot, all the little decks that I have. So if you're interested in that, click the link in the description box and I will see you guys there. Bye. Mm -hmm.